Indiana, where on the phone is Fire Chief Robert wanting to talk about uh, a Tell Me Something Good that he heard on the show. Hello, Fire Chief Robert. Welcome to the program. Hey, Bobby. How are you doing this morning? Doing pretty good. Thank you for calling. What would you like to say? Well, this morning we were uh, sitting out in a debate out here in the fire station and was listening to Amy's Tell Me Something Good, and we just caught the tail end of it. I think you were talking about our fire department where we uh, went on a run where a little 10-year-old alerted to her family that there was a fire there. Uh, we got there. We were able to make a grab of two guinea pigs and save them. And uh, it was just it was pretty awesome to hear our names mentioned up there because of the bravery of this little 10 year old. Um, that was just pretty awesome. I just wanted to say thanks for that. Wait, that, that was story. your <laughs> fire department? Yeah. Y'all saved S'mores and Scarlet? Yes, yes. S'mores and Scarlet. <laughs> Ironic name for one of them, obviously. That's what I said. Hey, hey, that. Come on. That's so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, the story, if you missed the story. Mm-hmm. A little girl in Indiana saved her family when a fire broke out in their garage. Her name was Anna. She's 10. She was getting ready for school. There was a strange noise coming from the garage. And so the family were like, oh, crap. And, but they didn't grab their pets. Luckily, Huntertown Fire Department, and that's where you're from, right, Fire Chief Robert? That is correct. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. That's, right. Then, that's right. Yeah. Is this the chief? Like, at the end, I shared a quote. How Robert like, Boren. Yeah. This is Fire Chief Robert Boren yes. from the story. We got somebody yes. famous on the phone. We wow. Said- I loved your quote of just reminding people that if someone senses something's not right, like lean into that. I'm paraphrasing, but you know what I mean. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's amazing. Sometimes we want to blow things off, and sometimes our children are more intuitive about what's going on around us than what we are. So we just need to listen up and pay attention, and everyone can get out safe. Did you know this story made the news? So I I put it on Facebook, and then it kind of, made local news but i didn't know it made national news and all of a sudden i'm listening to bobby bones and i'm like holy cow that's that's us <laughs> <laughs> yay this yeah. is awesome hey, i know how about so this cool. how, who who was on this call how many uh, like what guys were out there saving s'mores and scarlet yeah uh actually it's the crew that's working today ironically so uh there's a big group of us and there was about two other departments that joined us also so uh it was a big group effort well how many people are in your crew that are working today that were there uh, today, there's actually five of us. Perfect. Okay, here's what we're going to do. But, but, but. Wait, well, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. I want, uh, the five that are there with you right now, you plus five, um, we're going to send you guys some Pimp and Joy stuff to your firehouse um, because we just appreciate what you do, that you listen to the show, that you went in and saved these animals, what you do every day. Like, let's not let that be lost, too. Like, you mm-hmm. guys are risking your lives. So we're going to send – we're going to put you on hats. hold. Yeah, we'll send some hats um, and – just appreciate you. We'll put you on hold, get your address, and send some stuff at the fire station. How's that? Well, we yeah, thank you so much. This is awesome. We really appreciate it. Thanks for uh, sharing the story. Dang. Yeah, That's thank my, you. Like, hey. I feel like somebody famous called in. Like, I this know. Is, honestly, this is cooler than when Tim McGraw calls us. Let's be honest. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Because no. when we tell me something, when we, do, when we do a tell me something good, like, obviously, we really are shouting these people out. But the fact that the people we're shouting out actually hear it, mm-hmm. that's Awesome. Now, remember, after the tell me something good, though, we question whether it's worth going in to save a guinea pig. I remember pig. that. I remember that. Do you remember that? No. I- <laughs> well, let's ask him. So How did y'all feel about he's that? He's here. Let's ask him. Did you, were you like a guinea pig? <laughs> and rabbits, well, too. You know, so, so at, at first, we were like, man, we don't know if there's much hope. But, you know, we still have to try because, if anything, the family can only have closure if it wasn't successful. When we found them and we found out that they were alive, uh, the tears of joy that were running down these little girls' face, the dad like hooting and hollering and just screaming at the top of his lungs out of excitement. Um, you know, it might just be guinea pigs to someone else, but for that family, it was everything. And that's why we do what we do. It's not uh, the small things or the minute things. It's because for someone, that's a major thing. So we have to do whatever we can for anyone at all times. Dang. Dang, I wish I wouldn't have questioned the guinea pigs. <laughs> right, I know. And I, I know. wasn't so saying not say them. I just wonder if the guys were like, we got to go on for guinea pigs, excuse of me, course. boss. Well, yeah, he just said they were like, mm, but also, I got to say, is that the first time y'all have ever administered oxygen to a little tiny animal like that? Uh, we've done it for cats and dogs, but we've never never done it for guinea pigs. Love and, it. Uh, it works. Well, let us say it's been a real treat, real honor to hang out. Do you still have the goatee? I'm looking at pictures of you right now. You have a cool fireman goatee. Do you still have that? Oh, yeah, of course. I can't lose that. I'm a firefighter. I agree. Like, when I see a firefighter, he better have some facial hair, or I'm worried. All right. Hey, appreciate you. Thank you for doing what you do every day. We're going to put you on hold real quick, Ray, and we'll get his information. Uh, There he is. Tell me something good comes alive. Hope you have a great morning. Thank you for calling.
Thank you. You too. All right. How cool is that? I love it. It's about